Dalam rapot yang digelar pada minggu di Markas Dewan Keamanan PBB di New York, Amerika Serikat, Sekretaris Jenderal Perserikatan Bangsa-Bangsa Antonio Guterres menyerukan pengendalian diri maksimum pada Israel dan Iran terkait aksi saling serang dua negara itu. Guterres juga mengingatkan bahwa tindakan pembalasan dengan menggunakan kekuatan dilarang berdasarkan hukum internasional. I stated the following last night and I quote. I strongly condemn the serious escalation represented by the large scale attack launched on Israel by the Islamic Republic of Iran this evening and I call for an immediate cessation of these hostilities. End quote. I remind all member states that the Charter of the United Nations prohibits the use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence of any state or in any other manner inconsistent with the purposes of the United Nations. Furthermore, the principle of inviolability of diplomatic and consular premises and personnel must be respected in all cases in accordance with international law, as I stated when condemning the 1 April attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus. Dalam rapot yang juga dihadiri oleh perwakilan Israel dan Iran itu, keduanya juga saling mengutuk serangan kekerasan yang mereka terima. Israel is not the boy who cried wolf. We have been screaming from the rooftops for years, trying to wake up the international community, but to no avail. If only this council would have inter internalized my words, it would not have needed the bone-rattling explosions of last night's attack to wake it up. Regrettably, the Security Council has failed in its duty to maintain international peace and security. Russia proposed a press statement to denounce this atrocious act, which was backed by China, Algeria and many members, but was blocked by the US, UK and France. Faced with such circumstances, the Islamic Republic of Iran had no choice but to exercise its inherent right to self-defense under international law. Sementara perwakilan Amerika Serikat menyatakan Iran akan bertanggung jawab jika mengambil tindakan lebih lanjut terhadap Israel atau Amerika Serikat. Dua sumber intelijen Amerika Serikat menyatakan Angkatan Udara Amerika yang didukung Inggris dan Prancis telah bergabung dengan militer Yordania pada Sabtu untuk menjatuhkan drone dan rudal Iran yang terbang melalui negara itu menuju Yerusalem. Serangan Iran pada Israel pada Sabtu lalu dilakukan sebagai balasan atas serangan Israel ke komplek kedutaan Iran di Suriah pada 1 April lalu, di mana dalam peristiwa itu Komandan Garda Revolusi Iran tewas.